head of heels. Why don't you? Scanner Unage. I've travelled down this road before, as some of you will know. And do you know what? I'm finding. I'm going to have to change my tack because it'll all get a little bit same same won't it with the stuff I'm showing people because what's happening is the things I'm doing have been shown before and the problem I've got now is I'm at the stage where I'm not really showing you anything new so what happens is you don't get to see anything and the reason you don't see anything is because I don't have near misses, which is half the battle. We don't want to have any incidents whatsoever. Just good ones. That's what we want here. Good incidents. In that nothing happens, nothing goes wrong. Nobody pulls out on you. Or if they do, it's hardly even noticeable because I'm already in the right position on the road. And that's what I'm getting at here, it's road positioning and environmentally aware, looking around your environment, looking at around it where you are, controlling your your zone. As like this here, I've got cars coming to my right, I wouldn't be in the right hand lane. I'd actually be positioned two in this lane, just watching what's going on, see if anybody's accelerating. And then when I get a little constantly all the time green lights coming up it could change I'm just watch in your mirror nothing happening I'm gonna bimble through all oh, nice cars coming from my right over here am I gonna watch him is he seeing me has he seen me yes he has take him off out we go again a little bit just a bit of road position change making sure I've been seen again no issue no near misses and it's about controlling your zone and my zone for me and I've said it in previous videos it's my domain. I let people in and out of my area on my terms where I can control them. And if I find the push in the look, I'll change my position and make sure I'm in a safer position elsewhere. Like here, I've got absolutely no danger whatsoever. This truck could have changed it. It could, this van, this, this look to the right, look, white car coming to my right. Just watching, watch his wheels. Right, we're good. Ticked him off. Onwards we go. Position four, middle lane. Should be left lane unless overtaking, but if I am over there, I'm more difficult to see from junctions. I've got all them that street furniture, these trees, signs, all sorts of shit. Bit wheelie bins and the likes. Stoby poles hiding you. You're better off out here. As I'm coming approaching this junction, cars to my right is still coming. I've got he's likely to follow him. Now I've got him, has it tipped me off? He's got a tree in his way. Do I trust him? I do now. He's seen me. It was all a case of just, just watch everything. Cover everything off. Make sure you can stop in the distance you can see. What if it comes out? Can I stop? In that instance, yes, I could have done. So I've covered it off. As I'm approaching here, car behind, 200 meters, no problem. Lane split opportunity, absolutely. Is it going to change to green? No, I've got cars to my right. We'll go in here. Happy? Happy. Sit and chill while I'm sat here. Check the gauges. Temperature's good. No indicators flashing inadvertently. Fuel quite low. I'll get some shortly. Sat here, lights are changing. Looking good. Are we getting a green? We are. Cursory glances, make sure we're safe. Back to the middle lane here. If I was on a dual carriageway, left unless overtaking, left lane. Here. Now, see the car to my left? These be danger. Right. Slowing down again. These cars. They're coming to a stop, I'm going to get a green here, I think. So 
so not the ideal place to to lay and split bimble through watching this Merc Vito or Hyundai whatever it is on my right it could potentially change lanes so I've just got to be ready of that get out of his mirrors into his mirrors even again here not too close if I get in a position where somebody comes across me I have nowhere to go so I'll just back off here he's going right lane he's going right lane we've got a yellow we've got an amber we're already watching my mirrors I'm going to just give it the right hand sign we've got it covered behind we're slowing we're stopping great stuff safe as houses that's why I feel 100% safe on my bike because that's what I'm constantly doing and I'm constantly controlling my environment and anybody who's riding for years does this if they don't they need a poke in the eye but they won't last very long it's all about constantly position changing and having a reason to change your position keeping always constantly making yourself visible and safe there's not one right position there's not every every scenario is different you can't just say you want to be in that particular part of the lane one you know sections one two three four five or whatever positions one to five in a lane if you're splitting them up it depends on the circumstances depends what's around you but what you've got to do is consider what people can see of you all the time 